Hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and this is my channel Lenise Crochet. In today's video, I will be showing you my unfinished projects and as you can see, it's a lot. And this is just what I was able to find in the closet. I know I have a lot more. I already made this video in Spanish. Um, I believe I have maybe a hundred views if anything. But um, I have no idea how to do the translation if I was to have the same video and do it with another language. If I have to pause it, enter my translation in the captions, press play. I, I just think that'll take forever. I don't know if there's another way to do it out there. If there is, leave me a comment um, and let me know. But um, I'm just when it comes to technology, I'm just a little bit lost. So I decided I think it's going to be easier to do um, just another video. Um, so here we go. I will start by um, showing you all my projects. Um, I want to let you know that what you see here is my dog, April. It's just like in the other video. She was always next to me. Um, this is actually now my second video in English. My first one, it was horrible. Um, I have um, a very nice camera that I just don't know how to use. Right now I'm using my iPhone because I think it just has the settings already ready for you when it comes to just doing a video um, with the camera. I think the video turned out pretty awesome except the audio. Um, it was raining. Um, I don't have a microphone yet and if I do get one I just wouldn't know how to do the, the settings. So that is why I really haven't gotten one because I wouldn't know how to set it up. So um, with the camera I'm just lost with the ISO aperture and the shutter speed. I think I've been watching videos, uh, tutorials on how to take pictures um, and use the camera for about two years and I still can't get it. So um, we'll just use the phone for today. Um, okay, let's start talking um, crochet terms. Um, I'm kind of letting it out here because doing videos is not as easy. So our first unfinished project is this um, crop top uh, from Shenda DYI, I believe. She is a very famous crocheter here in YouTube. Um, I think I can link her, maybe her name or her video. Um, it's just unfinished. It should be um, ruffled here in this part. Um, and then I think it was like crisscrossed in the back. Um, honestly, I don't know why I finished it because it did take me maybe half a day just to get this far. Um, I just got lost in some stitch counts on the side and I just gave up, gave up on the project. And that's why I have my first unfinished project. Okay, my next one is a bag um this one is from someone from etsy i will also link her name she does everything like mermaid creations um this is a pig pattern um it's what it's missing is the tail right here um it's like a mermaid tail and then it'll it should have some strings here and it should be like a mermaid bag this is another unfinished project. Okay, and our next one is this um, green thing. Um, it is actually my creation. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to do something with granny squares and also big, big puffy sleeves. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. The size is super wrong. Like. The waist it has to be like for a child but then you have to be big enough to be able to fill the top with your body so the sizing was 
terrible but um, this is I guess one of my first attempts to um, writing a pattern and it's a fail but I will keep trying this um, one it's just a simple blanket um, I can also link the pattern this one it's free um, it's just a matter of doing a stitch I think is what it's either single crochet or I don't know half double crochet or double crochet chain one and do the same thing it's just like V stitches I don't know if you guys can see it but that's what you do throughout the whole blanket this one was for my baby and um, I guess he doesn't have a blanket he won't have a blanket for a long time because I haven't had the chance uh, to finish this project for him Okay, our next unfinished project, and believe it or not, this is just missing the eyes. I don't know why I've been so lazy and I haven't just glued the eyes. Um, if you've been crocheting for a while, you should know Katie did. I've been following her for years. Um, this is a paid pattern for, from her um, Etsy shop, and it's just a bunny. And I just have to do the eyes. I think I even cut them already. I just have to glue them. Um, it's not Velcro, it's um, felted. Um, and um, yeah, so this is um, Katie Did's bunny. I also have from Katie Did's um, this one, which this one you can tell is really not finished. Um, but this one should be a flamingo. Um, I know it's a very bright color for the camera, um, but this one is another unfinished project. Um, now I have, um, I guess it was meant to be a sweater. I don't have little girls. Um, uh, my baby is a big girl already. Um, and now I have a baby boy, so I'm really not sure why I even sat down and spent hours trying to make this pink sweater for a girl. Um, this one, it should have been a bear or something, but not finished. And my next one, I don't know um, which one of you wanted to do the um, uh, flowers, the tulips for Mother's Day. I was one of them and I started making them and Sunday Mother's Day came before you knew it and then I have my halfway done tulips and like I said in my other video I might be able to finish them for next year so let's see okay let me see this might be my last this is a sweater should be a sweater it's an oversized sweater this one I think I have the pattern from Pinterest I will link it as well um, and I have a long way to go I still have to do the ribbon and the sleeves and the collar um, what I like about this sweater it's just it's an easy stitch and once you memorize it you can just keep watching TV um, watching a movie whatever Netflix and it just gets completed pretty easy except I never found the time to finish it um, all right and lastly you guys are not gonna know what this is I'll just tell you maybe I can put a picture here <coughs> it should be a cow and this one is from Nella's Cottage. Um, she has a shop on Etsy as well. And she has a lot of beautiful things. She has Disney characters, um, mermaids, um, you name it. When you go to her website, you're just gonna fall in love and you are just gonna end up buying one of her patterns because everything that she has is just beautiful. So this, um, is something that you just either glue or sew to your finished projects um, I decided to get a cow 
So it's a cow and it has a sunflower on top. So that's why I have all these little um, petals for the flowers. But I never finished it. Okay, and I think this is it for my unfinished items. Um, I know that if you crochet, you have unfinished items. Um, that is something that we always do. I find myself just starting a project and um, just keep going to a store and I keep buying yarn and I just start thinking about the next project. Meanwhile, I still have this whole basket and like I said, this is only the stuff that I was able to find. I know if I keep looking for more, I will find all right so if you guys have unfinished projects don't feel bad i think that is part of um this art this craft um you just start something and you just see the yarn and your eyes just light up and you just want to keep buying yarn so where was i going with this um don't feel bad if you have unfinished projects because we all do Okay, this is uh, the end of my video. I hope that you guys like it and you can say bye to April.